Hey, what's up, YT family? It's your girl, Charm, and I am back, back in effect with my next video. Um, I've been getting some requests from uh, some subbies of mine. By the way, welcome to all my new subscribers. I don't care how you got here, as long as you got here. Big, big hugs. Mm. Okay, um, welcome to my channel. You know, I keep it pretty much funky. That's what I do. You know, a little, some beauty tips, some reviews, some weaves, some shit talking, whatever. You know, um, I had a few of my subbies ask me about my experience with Vixen Lace Wigs because I think y'all know I wasn't too happy with it. And um, I was going to wait to do the video because I wanted a better camera so you could really see what my problem was with the unit that I purchased. But I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys now. And then, you know, I'll just do another update or whatever. But, um, Actually, I think I'm going to do a couple of videos today because not only do I have the Vixen Lace wigs, I got my package from Cherry Culture. It's a lot of NYX cosmetics and some shit in here. I can't remember what I ordered because, quite honestly, I ordered this shit, uh, I don't know, a few weeks ago, a month ago, and I'm just getting it. So I'm going to open it up, take a look, and then show you guys. So that'll be my next video for today. But for now, let's get to the matter at hand. This is the unit that I purchased from Vic Vixen Lace Wigs. Now, I don't know I don't know if it looks kind of shabby. Don't I was making a wig, so that's why I just got pins sticking all in the bitch head like this. Let me move them out the way. But um yeah, don't be alarmed. I know the wig looks kind of shabby. I'm not going to blame them for that because, honestly, I had this shit just, like, thrown in a box somewhere. But, yeah, this is the unit. This is the Kenya unit. If you go on Vixen Lace Wigs website and look at their oily-ass mannequins, I'm telling you, it looks like they rubbed their fucking mannequins in lard, baby oil. I don't know. But you'll see the Kenya unit, and it's, it looks very nice on the site. They have some nice-looking units on the site. I can't deny that. So this is the unit I purchased. Um, it took about three weeks or more for me to get the unit. They didn't give me a tracking number. They didn't do anything. Like, literally, I placed the order online at, like, 12 midnight or some shit. And the money was gone out of my PayPal account, like, at 12.02, two minutes later. Okay? Which is cool. But, see, my beef was, then I didn't hear shit else from them. You know, like, nothing nothing for like a couple weeks finally I got in touch with somebody and she was nice you know she went back and forth with me for a few days about the unit being shipped the unit being shipped okay so make a long story short weeks later I got the unit when it came I should have brought it back to show you when it came it came in like a grocery bag hello the morning Okay, it came in like a grocery bag, and I was like, okay, all right, whatever. Um, so I take the unit out, and I look at it, and this is, of course, not how the bang was. The Kenya unit comes with a swoop bang. I had my beautician cut this bang because I didn't have the swoop to do, okay? I bitch need to see. I need to see. So, um, yeah, but this was, okay, I take the shit out the garbage bag. Bam, right? So I'm looking at the unit. I'm like, okay, this is a glueless unit. Damn, I should have mentioned that. This isn't a front lace. This is a glueless unit. Paid about two, 250 for it, 240 two something. I don't remember. So this is what my problem was. <laughs> okay, so this is the inside of the cap. It has a stretch panel, whatever. These combs that rip your edges out. That's fine. Most of them come with that. The problem was the adjustable straps. Again, I'm going to redo this video when I get a better camera so you can really see. These little hooks on the adjustable straps, one there, the one there, I had to sew them back on. When I went to go try the unit on, there was no hooks on them. Like, look at this. Look, look. It's ripping. It's, it's just ripped. But you can't really see. But it is, it's ripped. And the hooks were off. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? So something was like, look in the bag. So I had to go in the garbage, 
inside that little plastic ass garbage bag they sent the shit in is sure enough the hooks were inside the bag they had completely f fell off i haven't even put this unit on yet and already the hooks were off so i try to contact them you know to let them know like listen this is ridiculous. At first, I debated. I'm like, I could just sew the, the hooks on myself. But I'm like, shit, I paid $200 plus for this. I shouldn't have to do that. Not to mention the fact that it's just ripping along the seam. You know, well, anyway, nevertheless, after I didn't get a response from them right away, I went ahead and I sewed the hooks back on, which I don't know how to sew, okay? I could sew some weave, but a bitch can't sew no clothes, what the fuck? Or no shit like this. I'm like, what's going on? So, anywho, I went ahead and sold them back on. And um, about a week later, I took it to my beautician and had her cut the bang. Which you can't tell how the bang looks, but it looked a little beat up. Like I said, this shit was thrown in the box. I don't really wear it. But the bang cute. She hooked it up. You can't tell. Okay. Um... Then, the what fuck fucked me up was they Vixen Lakes would contact me. Now they contact me, okay? Because now I'm on other people's videos and I'm leaving comments like, yo, don't fuck with them. They fucking shit is garbage or whatever. So now they're contacting me with a very nice email. And they're like, um, you know, well, we could resolve it. Let us know what's up. But now my problem is that I've already altered the unit because I had the bang cut because the motherfuckers didn't get back in touch with me right away. So I can't send the unit back because I've already altered it. You know, so basically that was my experience. And even though this looks raggedy, the plus of it is, honestly, the hair is nice. This is Remy hair and it's beautiful. It can be washed. It can be flat iron. It's, um, this is in a 1B, what color is burgundy? I forgot the number, 33? I might be making that up. But it's a pretty color, and it's a nice density, and the hair is very nicely textured. It doesn't tangle. I'm sorry, I'm trying to work this camera. It doesn't tangle, and the hair is a good quality hair. Now, the unit, Girl, y'all know what I say, boom and bye. That's a whole nother story. You know, I just keep it funky. Like I said, I don't care regardless to what happens. If people send me stuff to review, everything I've done thus far that you guys have seen videos on, it's even if it's makeup, hair, whatever the case may be, I have purchased with my own money. If and when the time comes when people do ask me, to do a re review for them regardless to what i'm just gonna keep it 100 because at the end of the day i can buy my own shit i don't need free shit you know what i'm saying if you want my opinion uh, i'm gonna give you my opinion if it's good i'm gonna let it be known that it's good if it's garbage i'm gonna let it be known that it's garbage now this hair isn't bad quality but the unit was constructed very very poorly and yo i'm what's funny is that i ain't even gonna tell y'all that even after I got this shit, <laughs> you know, for Black Friday, they were having a sale where you could buy a unit, get a unit free. I know y'all like, why would y'all even go back? But a bitch see sale and just be like, fuck it, I'll risk it again. Girl, I ain't going to tell you I went to go order and they had blocked the bitch. <laughs> really? That's how y'all feel? Okay. Well, that's it. Um. I love you guys. If you want to see this NYX cosmetic shit or whatever, I'm going to be doing a video on that. And um, what I have, this is my um, U part unit I made out of the Virgin Fantasy hair. Virgin Fantasy Brazilian wavy hair. Um, I don't have anything in it. I deep conditioned it and then I made this my very first U part. I'll show you guys the construction on how, how I did that. And um. Yeah, some people have say things about the Virgin Hair Fantasy. I've had this hair about four months. I had it sold in for a couple months. Then I took it out and made it into a U-part. But shit, every once in a while, it, 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 she shows her ass. But for the most part, with a deep condition, she get right back on track. I love this hair. I think it's sexy as hell. Um, anyway, I love you guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe to all my new subscribers. Welcome to my world. See you later.